smell of it. I'm rolling up two big blunts, smoking them both for the hell of it. Ask me what they feel with. Hydro like this hell of it. Thanks for rolling up to Blunt Marley and this certified pothead. Nighttime, nighttime spliffs. Tonight we're going to be jumping into another one of these um, cannabis conspiracy theories. Which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. This one here involves a paranormal, I guess, activity. The idea of this theory goes, uh, simply put, is 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 like this: uh, haunted areas grow the most potent strains. That's it in a nutshell. So let's let's take a moment to entertain this idea. And, and it may sound it may sound a little bit crazy. It may sound a little bit crazy, but bear with me. We're talking about if haunted land can play a potential role in growing the world's most potent cannabis. Imagine the highest quality marijuana doesn't come from meticulously tended fields of cannabis in Colorado or California, but from the overgrown eerie grounds of a haunted mansion. It's like, like you know how they got that super expensive coffee that's like passes through the digestive tract of like elephants and cats and then they sell that at the exclusive premium what if growing cannabis on haunted or airy grounds does the same type of thing let's dive down into this first off picture this right a cannabis plant growing on a perfectly normal plot of land just another green plant growing amidst its peers now we'll take that same plant right and move it to a plot of land with a history of haunting or like put, put maybe put it in like a graveyard or like a the battle grounds of like an old war or something maybe maybe like a, a, a old a sane asylum or something and now this plant has discovered the same equivalent of let's say like like steroids we then injected something different it starts sprouting up like it's never been sprouting up before it's like getting some type of supernatural powers let's kick this let's kick this idea around bro and see where we end up at i mean what, what could it what could it hurt right in the end it could just be it could just be me sitting here blaze. It could be me just sitting here blazing. See, I am smoking. You know, this thing just went out on me. Well, I'll get this relit. Here's a here's a riddle for you. I'm shaped by the wind, but never fly. I form over time, yet never grow high. What am I? Proponents of this theory suggest that haunted land is overflowing with residual energy from airy events, battles, curses, maybe even the occasional ghost seeking a lost pair of spectacles they argue that cannabis plants on such land are absorbing the otherworldly energy turning into a superhero of marijuana these plants allegedly gain an extra boost of thc delivering a high so intense that it could make a ghost ectoplasmic re nerves tingle imagine lighting up a joint and suddenly feeling like you're in a seance with your great grandma disembodied voice offering unsolicited advice spooky right here's another riddle for you i'm always hungry but I don't drink. Yeah, that's wrong. The riddle goes, I'm always hungry, but if I drink, I die. What am I? Of course, the idea of haunted weed may sound like some straight out of a horror comedy movie. Imagine rolling up a joint only to discover that it's been haunted. Next thing you know, you're in the middle of a ghostly intervention where the spirits are debating whether you should have used a filter. Next thing you know, got ghosts from the 1800s floating by, shaking his head, muttering, Back in my day, we didn't have fancy strains. We just had plain old spirit weed. And then there's the notion of haunted grounds as a cosmic blueprint where time and supernatural forces have left their inevitable mark. It's like the land itself has taken up a part-time job as a ghostly landscaper, designing the otherworldly environment that cultivates plants of a particular potent variety. Think of it as if the ghosts are channeling their energies into the soil setting up an exclusive spectral farm where only the finest cannabis can thrive this idea may seem like a wild stretch right but think about it right we have organic grown sun grown hydroponic grown fair trade cannabis why not add paranormally grown cannabis to the list imagine the marketing phantom og headless horseman kush great grandma weed what kind of product they could have people lining up just to taste the supernatural let's try to look at this through a um different lens for a second right maybe the best ideas are like a riddle here's a riddle i'm a word that begins with e but only has one letter what am i so what's the final verdict people could haunted land be the hidden gem for growing top tier cannabis or am i just sitting here floating like casper off of this dank right now but in the world where anything is possible haunted weed might be the next big thing could just be another nah, I mean stoner stoner 
stoner theory, but I don't know. If you are tempted to head to your nearest graveyard to try to like, um, grow some dank, remember that, um, this is just a theory, bro. But who knows? You might be the one to prove it correct. If you do end up growing some uh, paranormal dank and it is flame, you want to get me some, bro. Answer to the riddle. A dune, fire, and an envelope. I'll see y'all in the next one, bro.